Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently 5 to 7 on Sunday the 14th of November. I am still reading Portent by James Herbert and it's still like, it's alright. Cracking on with that, uh, watching The Moonstone, the BBC adaptation of The Moonstone. Chilling here with Biggie and uh, yeah, just being productive. So I'm going to go and go and do that, I'll catch you in a bit. Dane reads. Hello everybody, it is 25 past 9 on the evening of Monday the 15th of November. Uh, been a bit of an anxious 24 hours really, I actually had a nice nap earlier where Biggie came over and cuddled up with me because he can sort of sense when I'm feeling anxious as well, bless him, so um, we had a nice cuddle, I had a nap. Um, I had my counselling earlier, um, which seemed to go pretty well, it just sort of leaves me super worn out afterwards. So my next one is in two weeks. I have my cleaner coming over tomorrow, my grandparents and my dad are coming to visit on Thursday. Um, that's about it really. I've been raging about some art centre stuff, I'm just so stressed about it all, oh god. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and do as much work as I can this evening to try and stay on top of things. I watched the BBC miniseries of The Moonstone, so that was quite good. Um, and then. I watched another little bit of The Addams Family. I'm now currently rendering my house tour. Uh, what are we on? 11%. So it's going to take a little old while to get out. But um, yeah, looking forward to uploading that. And I, basically, I had the problem recently that I ran out of space on my on my Mac. So I have to like watch stuff to free up space so that I can render out more videos. Um, but we're doing okay. I've got 10 gigabytes at the moment, which should be enough for me to render this and some of the music I've edited and radio show and things like that. Um, I finished reading Portent by James Herbert, it was a 4 out of 5. I'm now reading, um, what is it, Across the Mountains and Into the Sea, I think it's called. I can't see it, it's around, around behind the back of me, um, by Ernest Hemingway. It's very good, it's set in um, Italy, so it's giving me big Charlie Heathcote vibes. As was the beginning of the Moonstone, because that was in Italy. So I actually sent Charlie an Instagram message, being like, can you translate this for me please? Uh, as you can see, I cut my hair, uh, my roots are really coming through, and at the back, there's bits at the back where it's just brown, like it's, I've missed it with the dye or whatever, like the undercoats. Um, but I have some auburn hair dye, so I'm going to try putting that on and see what happens, see whether it goes over the red or not. If not, it'll just sort of help me to phase out the red slowly and kind of grow it out and you know, blend it a bit more and then I'll probably go back towards that natural colour which is, you can sort of see there. So I'm probably going to try and dye my hair tonight because of the cleaner coming around tomorrow. Because I've already got the hair, some bits of hair on the floor to clean. I need to shave as well actually so might as well do all the hair removal then and then the cleaner can deal with that. Sorry cleaner. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying the Hemingway novel so far. It's on course for a 4 out of 5. Quite an easy read. I was going to read uh, 4 plays or 5 plays by Anton Chekhov. But it's got a pretty hefty introduction, so I've moved that in into uh, the, my bedroom as a bedtime book. Just for the introduction, so I'll read the introduction before bed one of these nights and then I'll crack on with the plays. Other than that, I need to think about what's next, and I don't know. Maybe the next June, the Frank... Junior book. Oh, I've got Michael Crichton up there as well. I don't know. I'm I'm getting back down on my TBR again now, so I'm down to probably like 30 odd. I don't know. I have loads of uh, reviews to write and post. So once I've written and posted all of those, I'll have a better idea of where I am. But that's pretty much where I am at. I'm going to go and do some more work. I also just had a pizza and it was good. Oh. It was my Ahi Gaio face or whatever it's called. Shout out to Belle Delphine. She's my favourite e girl. What you got there, Biggie? You got your toy? Yeah, we're flopping on it. Hey, Biggie, show us your fangs. What? Uh oh, oh no! Don't, don't photograph me. Oh no! Ah! Uh, oh, you don't like the paparazzi, do you? Are you back, back to playing with your toy again? Camera doesn't pick it up because it's the same colour as the bed, the sofa bed. I've got these uh, nice lovely little flowers in my lava lamp in my office now. It's a bit nice, isn't it? It is currently 
five past ten on the morning of Tuesday the 16th of November. I am a sleepy boy, I haven't slept. Um, I did try, it just didn't happen. So um, yeah, as I say, it's five past ten. I have my cleaner comes every other week, so she's coming at half twelve. And she'll be here for three hours, which takes us up to half three, and then it, it sort of gets dark not long after that. So my plan now is just to stay up, if I can, um, till the cleaner's gone, and then it will get dark, and then I can go to bed. But I do have a secret weapon. I went to uh, Tesco to get some bits, and I have a, a, an energy drink over there. So that's good. Got some snacks. Already had some lunch. Just been playing with the cat. Um, and actually, most of my tidy jobs are kind of already done as well. So, um, yeah, that's good. It's not, uh, you know... It's not going to be too bad when the cleaner gets here, I don't think. Like, she can just focus on cleaning away three stuff. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much my goal. Um, I, go, I guess there's like a few bits downstairs I should probably do, because I'll probably get to start downstairs again, and then she can make her way up here. But that also gives me a little bit more time to do more productive bits on my end. Uh, I'm still reading Hemingway, wherever it's gone. Oh yeah, I had to move it because the cat was attacking it. So that's back there. Um, oh, what's it called? I don't know. B between the rivers and over the sea or something. Along the, across the rivers and into the trees. Ha, ha, cramp. Okay, we're good. The cramp's gone. Oh. So yeah, I'm about 40 pages from the end. There is some like war bits in it, which I'm not too interested in. Um, and it's also kind of a love story, which again, I'm not too interested in, but, um, as a general rule, I am quite enjoying it still, um, because it's Hemingway. So yeah, I'm going to finish that and then I'll probably pick up House of Trades by, um, Brian, no, yeah, Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson, um, which is the first of the non-Frank Herbert June books, so we'll see how I get on with that. But I do kind of want to finish them so I can tick off that series, you know. Even if it's just to complain about how it went downhill after Frank Herbert died. So yeah, I will do, um, I guess I've got, I'll finish off my book soon. So I'll do my wrap up for that, finish off my review for that, do some music before the cleaner gets here. Because I don't really want to be playing guitar or even talking to the camera while she's here. So um, yeah, I'll crack on back with work then. I also got some Stolen, which is like marzipan, Christmassy, uh, Christmassy goodness. It's uh, vegan friendly, so... Got some of this. I've got, I actually got two, but I'm gonna give one to Sabrina because she's my vegan friend, my token vegan friend. So yeah, that's what we're, what we're doing. And I've got some incense going, it smells nice. See you in a bit. Hello, uh, it is Friday the 19th of November at 11.50 a.m. As you can see, I've dyed my hair again. I've gone a slightly darker red. I'm sort of slowly going back towards my natural color, I guess. I don't know, don't really have a plan. Okay, what's new? Um, well, yesterday my dad and my grandparents came round to visit my new house and then we went out for dinner. Uh, they seemed to like the place, which was good. I'd actually had the clean around on Tuesday as well, so that probably helped. Um, my granddad isn't looking particularly well, bless him. He, um, you know, he's really struggling to move. He doesn't really talk. I didn't really eat anything. He spent most of the time when we went for dinner, he was just sort of lying down with his head on the table. Um, I mean, my gran, my grandma's looking well, but yeah, my granddad wasn't looking very well at all. So that was, you know, it was nice to see them and whatnot, but I don't know, bittersweet, I suppose. And so it's left me feeling kind of quite worried about him. Um, and then I went into town yesterday because it was supposed to be, it was the um, Christmas market in town and the Christmas light switch on. And there were so many people there. I basically had a panic attack and came home. I was supposed to have an art centre call, but I was still just really anxious. So I ended up just lying in bed with Biggie and sleeping off for about 14, 15 hours because I had the heebie-jeebies really bad. Um, so I'm still not in a particularly good place today. I haven't been on Facebook or checked my WhatsApp or my emails or anything because I know people are going to be having a go at me for missing this meeting. Um, and if, if nothing else, it's just embarrassing to have to be like, I'm sorry, I had a panic attack, you know? So yes, there's that. I'm just trying to crack on and get some work done, doing doing my best with that. Books wise, um, I guess last time I spoke to you I was probably still reading Across the River and Into the Trees by Ernest Hemingway, which was a four out of five. 
Then I read these two poetry collections that my friend Rob sent me. Um, so this is a guy I went to secondary school with. He sent me The Debris, the debris Inside My Mind and More Debris Inside My Mind by Keith Terry, who I believe is his dad. Um, the poetry wasn't really my kind of poetry because it was a lot of rhyming poetry and it's very much like, um, you know, unpublished poet kind of thing, um, just sort of Joe Bloggs writing poetry. Um, but there was some really interesting stuff in there because he was a former policeman, so he wrote about that quite a lot, which I found quite interesting. Um, and also you can tell that for him this is really like, it's a form of like self-therapy. So I think actually for what they set out to do, they did the job pretty well. Um, I'd give them both, like probably both week 3.5 out of 5. Uh, the second one, more debris in, inside my mind, that one was the better of the two I think. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't think he expects to be the next Poet Laureate or anything. And as I say, I think it was a, you know really useful for him to be able to write this poetry, so fair play. Then I read The Mask by Elizabeth Horans. This is a book I was sent uh, by Isabel Kenyon of Fly on the Wall Poetry. So, unfortunately, I didn't like this one. I gave it probably, I'd give it a week, three out of five, um, maybe even a 2.5 out of five. So the problem is it's very, it's like a, a love letter to Frida Kahlo almost, and all the poems are based on her uh, paintings and stuff. But I just found it a bit weird. Like there was one, the first one, so I don't know, I, d I mean obviously I don't know what the poet's intent was or whatever, but it came across to me as like her talking about her having sex with Frida Kahlo, which I'm like, that's a bit odd, considering they're dead as well, like it's just like me if I was writing like a poem about how I want to have sex with Allen Ginsberg or something, I just find it a bit odd because they're dead. And then all the way through I feel as though she was, she was kind of, Basically, I guess she was showing her own interpretation of Carlo's work, but it kind of read as though she was putting words into Carlo's mouth. Um, whether or not she might have agreed with them, I don't know. She's dead, we can't ask, but that's kind of why it felt a bit weird to me. It's like, I don't know. Again, if, if, if she was alive and she'd have been able to read it and, you know, provide her own response to it or whatever, I'd, it would seem a bit fair enough, but I don't know. It just was a bit weird to me, it was a bit like trying to manipulate the art of the dead for your own purposes, in a way. So, um, which is a shame because I've really enjoyed all of the other horror that I've read. And I do like Frida Kahlo as well. And I will pass this on to somebody uh, I know who's an artist who's much more sort of versed on Frida Kahlo than I am. Um, but again, she so she's done like a portrait of Frida Kahlo based on one of Frida Kahlo's portraits. But she really kind of put her own spin on it. Whereas, I don't know, with with this person, with her artwork, it's very much in her own style, you know? Whereas I don't know so much about this, this just kind of felt, again, I think it's because it's words, it felt as though she was putting words into Carlo's mouth, whereas with the art, it was a piece of art that Carlo would have never created, and so it didn't feel as presumptuous, I guess. Um, but yeah, so there's that. And now I am reading um, House Atreides by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson, which is um, the first of the June books that uh, Herbert and Anderson wrote after Frank Herbert died. I've heard a lot of bad stuff about these, but so far I'm about a quarter of the way in and I am enjoying it. So um, that bodes well because I want to go ahead and read the rest of the series. Um, so I'm probably going to finish that. That's going to take me a few days and then I guess it'll be time for my next Wizard of Oz book. Uh, that I'll be reading with Joel of Joel Swagman. I also finished reading the introduction to Five Plays by Anton Chekhov um, and it was an interesting enough introduction um, but I was reading that as like a bedtime book and just reading it a little bit at a time so um, I'm now ready to go ahead and actually read the plays so that's going to come up soon and then I'm going to read what's that a Shot in the Dark by Lynn Truss um, and Lynn Truss Right, so I've read like four of her books and I enjoyed the first three and then the last one that I read I absolutely hated. So I don't know how this is going to go, but the other ones were all non-fiction and this one here is um, like a detective novel. And so that should be quite interesting. 
The other news, I guess, I went earlier this week to see a recording of a podcast called We'd Like a Word. I'll link to that below. That's done by Paul Waters and Stephen Colgan, both of whom have been guests on my radio show. Um, They featured a a writer's workshop that I set up as well, uh, read and reviewed some of their books, I think on the channel as well. Um, But yeah, they were filming a live episode of their podcast with Robert Thorogood as the guest. And Robert Thorogood is uh, the guy who created Death in Paradise, which is a pretty well-known TV series. Um, And he's also written some books about it as well. So it was nice to go to that and um, yeah, just learn a bit more about the art and craft of writing from him, I suppose. So I did that earlier this week. In terms of this weekend, there is a Christmas art and craft fair at the Art Centre that I was going to go to, but I'm really peopled out from just from going into town yesterday. So I don't really want to see anybody, so I don't know if I'm going to go to that or not. And I don't have any other plans for the weekend. There is some live music happening, but I don't think any open mics or anything like that. So I'm probably just going to work all weekend and keep myself to myself. I might see if my friend Sabrina is around to do... um, to do like a practice session because we're going to play at some open mics and stuff Um, but she's super busy with school stuff at the moment because she works at a school and that and she's also helping out with a lot of productions so I think they're getting ready to do a performance of Grease so she's working crazy hours at the moment so I wouldn't be surprised if she's not available or if she just wants to chill which is fine because then I can just chill you know so that's that's where I'm at look I've messed up my hair now oh no all right, well, hopefully tomorrow I'll be in a slightly better mood. I'm just feeling a bit hollow and dead at the moment, you know. Hello, it's me. It is currently um, quarter to five. You can tell because it's dark. Blimey, I'm going to go turn my light on. On Saturday, the 20th of November, um, mostly had a pretty chill day yesterday. Uh, earlier today, I went to the um, Christmas fair at the Arts Centre and I picked up this little bit of art up here. I also knocked my clock down and broke the glass in it by accident. But yeah, I picked up that bit of art from my friend Jack Smith. So I bought that from his store. And I also bought a bunch of cards. Um, so there are some like limited edition art center cards and then just some like, you know, nice little ones here that I'm going to send out, um, which was the one I'm gonna give this one to my mum. I think she'll like this one. So um, yeah, pick those up. Um, what else happened? I've been, I actually slept okay yesterday. I went to bed at like half nine and then got up about half nine today. Uh, I have been doing some work here and there, mostly art center stuff and uh, a few bits for other clients as well. Still reading, um, what's it? Fucking House of Trades by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. Um, I met Sabrina at the fair earlier. I actually met a few people because all the art centre a lot were there. I met a new guy called Max Beresford who uh, he's doing like an internship and he's going to be taking photos and videos for us. But when he said his name was Beresford, all I could think about was Tommy and Tuppence, uh, the Agatha Christie characters because their surname is Beresford. But yeah, I met him. I met up with my friend Michelle as well. That's interesting. I'm just looking at my... Uh, on this day or whatever, November 20th, 2019, just before COVID. The bad news, I caught a cold and so I'm in self-imposed quarantine. Anyway, um, yeah, so I met Sabrina while I was there and we went around for a bit and then she's coming over later. We are going to make uh, pesto pasta with garlic bread and gonna have a bit of a jam. And then we are going to go to uh, the Flint Cottage, which is a pub actually right by my house and kind of on the way from mine to hers as well, which is ideal. Uh, and then Alex Q is playing there, who is a pretty good local musician. So that should be fun. Um, and then tomorrow, I think tomorrow night, there is um, the Our Friends Acoustic Jam at the Rose and Crown, um, which is the, it's the last live music event I went to, um, at open mic style thing, that I went to before COVID, and they're only just relaunching it now. Um, so I really ought to go to that because I mean I want to as well but I will go to that if I can Um, but we'll see and if I go to that I imagine Dave will be going I don't know who else will be going but yeah we'll see we'll see so that's where we're at I'm gonna go and do some more work yo it is um, am I in focus yo it is um, 10 to 1 in the afternoon of Monday the 22nd of November um, I'm hungover today. Well, I have like two days worth of hangover because I had some drinks on Saturday night and then on Sunday night. 
So I can't even remember when I last updated you, but basically on Saturday, I uh, went to the Christmas Arts Market at the Art Center, which was good, got some Christmas cards. I think I did tell you about those because I showed you them. Um, and then, yeah, went to um, the Flint Cottage to see Alex Q, which was nice. And then yesterday I went to the Our Friends Acoustic Jam at the Rose and Crown, which was good, but it just means I've spent two nights in a row in pubs. So today, my liver is taking it easy. I've just made um, like a full English breakfast, vegan style, very delicious. I've been drinking some juice to try and shift the hangover. So I've drank this entire bottle of juice, this family sized bottle of juice. Um, other than that, just cracking on being productive really. I'm doing some work. Uh, I'm still reading uh, House of Trades, but I'm now about 180 pages from the end, so I think I'll probably finish it tomorrow um, and then it'll be time for me to pick up the next Wizard of Oz book for my buddy Reads with Joel. Um, been watching some YouTube, I've been watching somebody do a playthrough of Resident Evil 4 in VR, so that's been good. Um, and so I'm going to crack on with that, I'm going to do some video editing because it's been a few days for that as well. Um, and also I'm going to be wrapping Christmas presents and writing Christmas cards today, that's my plan. I think that's all I've got for you, so I'm going to love you and leave you because it's the end of another week. So as always, thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot, bye bye.